Breathe through a mask or breathe through a bottle? Breathing through a bottle is weird, so I choose mask. Hey mom! Wait, you chose to breathe through a mask too? It wasn't me who chose, the choice was given to a random person and now everyone has to breathe through a mask. So you're saying everyone has to wear a mask now? Yes, because the air is toxic. Who chooses to breathe with a mask on? It's so annoying. If you don't like it, why don't you just take it off? I can't do that. If you take your mask off, you die. Really? So how long do we have to wear these masks for? Forever, Mara. I'm really annoyed with the one who chose the mask. Right? Like, why didn't they just pick breathing through our nose? That was impossible. The choice was between a mask and a bottle. How do you know? Was it you who chose? What? No, um, I was just guessing. Class, today we're going to be jogging around for half an hour. But how, sir? We're all wearing masks. Is there a problem? Yes, it's hard to breathe. Well, get used to it. I'm so tired. If I knew who chose to breathe through a mask, I would kill them. I hope they won't find out it's me. Don't be like that. Maybe they didn't know it would be like this. Okay, class, now it's time to sleep. Since when are the sleep lessons, sir? Since today, because wearing a mask is tiring. Now please make your way to class. I just want to take this off. Do not remove that mask. The air outside is toxic. Why aren't you wearing a mask? I thought the air was toxic. Because there's a way not to wear a mask. How? You need to take off three masks from three of your friends and then give them to me. You can sleep in this class for one hour. Sir, can I not sleep? Whatever, this is your only chance to rest. Don't worry, sir. My breathing is strong. Okay, it's up to you. <sighs> okay, I've taken off Sarah's, Hannah's and Samantha's masks. Oh my gosh, why are their masks off? Amara, you were the only one who didn't sleep. What happened to them? Are they dead? How come their masks are off? Honey, are you okay? I took off three of my friend's masks and now they're all dead. What? Why would you do that? You do know that it's a crime, right? Some old lady told me to. Are you insane? You can't just trust strangers, Amara. Are you happy? Three of my friends died because of you. I didn't mean to. Take off your mask now. What? You have to feel their suffering. If you don't take it off, we'll take it off for you. Okay, okay, relax. I'll take it off. I hope I can still breathe. Otherwise, I did this for nothing. I wonder what my strength is. Mom, I'm going to school. Honey, what power did you get? Every time I cry, it rains. Okay, then cry now. It's been two months without rain. I can't just cry like that, Mom. You're such a useless child. Why is it so hot today? Just cry and make it rainy. Mom, you think it's that easy for me to cry? No, but it hasn't rained in over two months. Babe, I brought this for you from the canteen. Oh, just put it on my table. Okay, um, did you need anything else? No, just leave me alone. As you wish. Why did he speak to me like that? Honey, me and your dad are going on a cruise tonight. No matter what you do, make sure you don't cry, just for tonight. Sure. Hey, babe. Sorry, but we have to break up. What? Why? How can you break up with me? We've been together for three years. Sis, why are you crying? Did you forget mom and dad are on that cruise? Calm down. It's just rain. They'll be fine. Get a mark every time my soulmate gets hurt or get a mark every time my soulmate speaks. Get a mark every time my soulmate gets hurt. If I choose get a mark every time my soulmate speaks, my face is going to be filled with marks. So, get a mark every time my soulmate gets hurt. Bye, mom. I'm going to school. Did you make your choice? Hopefully, you picked something to help you find your soulmate easily. I chose to get a mark every time my soulmate gets hurt. But your face is so clean. You have no marks yet. Yeah, I'm grateful he's okay. Anyways, I need to get to school. See you later. Hey, guys. Why are you all looking at me like that? Wait, you didn't notice. Your face has a huh? mark. That means my soulmate got hurt this morning. No need to panic. Maybe it's just a scratch. Yeah, true. Hey, babe. We need to break up. What? Why? We've been dating for almost two years. You're not my soulmate. You've got two marks and I didn't injure myself two at all marks? today. Yeah, so I'm breaking up with you. But wait! <sighs> why the hell is my soulmate hurt? Hopefully nothing bad happened to him. Just calm down. Nothing will happen to your soulmate. Why are you so sure? Because as long as the mark is still there, it means your soulmate hasn't died yet. Unless the marks are gone. Gone? Yeah, when your soulmate dies, the marks disappear. I have to stop thinking about my soulmate. Amara, you're in a group with Amy. Really? Yay, we're in the same group. Why so excited? We're friends, so it's more fun that we're in a group together. I have to find a guy who has two injuries. Amara, do you want to do the work at my house? Yeah, sure. 
my stomach's hurt again. Guys, have you seen a guy who might have hurt himself three times today? No, sorry. How is this possible? I have to focus on the group work and stop thinking about this. Hey, Amara, come on in. Wow, your house is really big. Thanks. Who's that? That's my brother. You can't talk to him because he's a bit you weird. You never told me you had a brother. Do you always ask this many questions? I'm going to go make you a drink, okay? Okay. I wonder why Amy told me not to speak to her brother. He's kind of hot. Hey, I'm Amara. Are you Amy's brother? Yeah, my name is Lewis. Why are there three wounds on your arm? Because of Amy. Basically, you have to be careful with her. Huh? Why is her brother saying that? Amy, um, I'm just gonna go home, okay? How come? We haven't worked on the project yet. Uh, I'm not feeling too well. Maybe we can work on it tomorrow? Why are there so many marks on my face? Hello? Amy? Don't forget to come to my brother's funeral today, okay? Wait, what? Funeral? Take the glasses off. Okay, I'll take it off. I really hope nothing bad happens. Oh my gosh, why is your eye color? Why is my eye color what? Your eyes are not normal, they're colorful. Colorful? I finally found someone with this eye color. Officer, take her. What's happening? Shut up, don't move. Sir, why am I being detained like this? I'll leave you with this officer because I really need your eyes. They can help me. Help you with what? You're just going to leave me with a stranger? Let me go. Shut up. You wait until me and your teacher come back. So I'm going to be left here alone? Don't try to run away. But please. Amara, are you okay? <sighs> Emily, finally you came. Please help me untie these handcuffs. You shouldn't have went to the eye exam. Everyone's after you now. Everyone's after me? Yes, because only your eyes can see the contents of the box. What box? I'll explain later. Come with me now. Basically, your eyes have the power to see what's inside the box. People with normal eyes don't see anything when I don't understand. It. What box are you talking about? Our teacher, he always has this orange-green box in class. Do you remember it? I think so. So, do you have the box? No, but we have to get it quickly from our teacher's classroom. This is our classroom, but the box is no longer here. It was here just yesterday. It seems that the teacher has taken it to the warehouse at the time you were kidnapped. <sighs> so what are we going to do now? He thinks you're still in the warehouse. He must have came in and took it. How are we going to get it back? Don't worry. The box is useless if people don't know what's inside. The contents can only be seen with your eyes. Wait here. I'm going to try find it. I know where the teacher's box is. You do? Yes, I'll show you, but you have to come. Okay, let's go. Emily, I'm with Olivia. She says she knows where the box is. The box is with me now. You have to run away. She's lying to you. Um, Olivia, I need to go to the bathroom. My stomach hurts. You think you can run away from me? Hey, guys, she's with me. Take her. <sighs> Wait, don't. Hey, wake up. Finally, we managed to catch one of the colored-eyed people. So what are we going to do, boss? Look for the box. Here's the box. See what's in it and tell me. No! You want to keep your eyes, right? I have no choice. Hurry up and open the box. Huh? Why is your face like that? What's in the box? Eyes or tongue? I'll choose tongue. That way we'll taste the same thing. Mom, I choose to taste whatever my soulmate tastes. In that case, just eat an onion. Why? You can find your soulmate easier if you both have bad breath. Good point, but um, I'm not eating an onion. No way. That's weird. I haven't tasted anything yet. Does that mean my soulmate hasn't eaten anything? Maybe your soulmate is the prince because he doesn't eat. Why doesn't he eat? He hasn't eaten anything in two days because he wants to find his soulmate. He's inviting all girls who hasn't tasted anything yet to the palace. Then I should go. You better hurry up before it gets crowded. What are you doing here? I'm here for the same reason you are. You really think your soulmate is the prince? That's hilarious. There's only one way to find out. Come with me. You both have to try my favorite sweet. Here's one for each of you. One of these sweets are my favorite. The other one I hate. You can try one first. Then it's the other girl's turn. I just ate mine. So did I. Okay, I already know who my soulmate is. Mom, can I try a cigarette? Amara, you live under my roof. I can't let you smoke. What are people going to think of me? All right, Mom, relax. Well, of course I'm going to pick the cigarette. Now, I can try it without her knowing. Hey, did you know there's going to be a sweep in school today? A sweep? Why do you look nervous? Are you carrying anything for me? No, <laughs> of course not. I'll just hide it in the toilet. Morning, Amara. Can I check your bag, please? Okay, here, you can take it back. 
Oh shoot, I forgot the cigarette in the toilet. Hey Amara, didn't you hear the announcement today? We're all gonna have to gather in the hall. No, why do we all have to gather there? Apparently they found a forbidden item in the school toilet. Do you know what the thing they found is? Apparently a cigarette is probably one of them dodgy boys. Should we go to the hall together? Um, yeah. Mom, which one should I choose? Honey, choose Mafia. But the Mafia's dad's job, right? Yes, but Mafia's a dangerous job, so no one can know. Okay. Kids, your task today is to tell me what your dad works as. But I can't tell him. So, what does your dad work as? Um, my dad's job is a security guard. What? You're just the daughter of a security guard? Aren't you ashamed of going to school here? Just because I can't say what my dad works as, I'm being bullied at school. I have to call dad. Hello? Dad? What's your dad supposed to do? He's just a security guard. Oh, so you're the one who's been bullying my daughter, right? Take off your mask now! Okay, okay, relax. I'll take it off. I hope I can still breathe, otherwise I did this for nothing. Oh my gosh, she actually died! Do you think we'll be caught by the police? Yes, let's just run away. Am I in heaven? Gosh, sis, I was so worried about you. Why did you take off the mask? Wait, so I'm not dead? I'm sorry, I took off the mask because my friends told me to. The three masks I took off my friends, why aren't they here? Thank you for helping me. What? Now you can be mask free for one day. One day? I thought you meant forever. Yeah, but for that, you need to give me the three masks you took off your friends. You never gave them to I me. I forgot where I put them, but I'll bring them to you soon. Okay, here's my address. Hey, honey, why aren't you wearing a mask? I don't need to wear a mask. Thanks to that old lady. Did I not tell you not to speak to that old lady again? Where is she? She's right there. Wait, where is she? You have to be careful with that old lady. Don't be like me. What do you mean like you? Uh, just keep your distance from her. Are you okay, sis? I'm really worried. As you can see, I'm healthier than before. They all feel guilty for telling you to take your mask off, but they don't know you're still alive. Don't worry, I have plans for them. Wait, wasn't she dead? Maybe she's a ghost. I was saved by my sister, and thanks for trying to kill me, by the way. You guys are horrible. You're even more horrible. You killed three of our friends. Okay, class, today we'll be running for an hour and a half. An hour and a half? That's too much, sir. You don't have to participate if you don't want to. You know what? At least I'll be fine. I can just run without a mask. You know what? It's fine. I'll participate. Me too, sir. Me as well. You guys ready? Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, there's no one around. It's time for me to take my mask off. <sighs> I'm tired too. Oh, hi, Amara. Oh my gosh, do you think she just saw that? It's fine. Just take it off. Did you follow what the evil old lady said? Why are you calling her evil and how do you know her? Wait, are you serious? Everyone knows her. She's known for... Why is there so many marks on my face? Hello, Amy? Don't forget to come to my brother's funeral today. Wait, what? Funeral? Yes. But your brother was fine just yesterday. After you left, he fainted and died. Anyways, I'll see you later. But my face still has marks. That means he's not dead yet. Hey, Amy. Why do you have so many marks on your face? Yeah, my uh, soulmate's hurt. Perhaps? Perhaps what? Um, nothing, nothing. Why do I feel like Amy's trying to hide something? Gosh, that's a lot of marks on your face. Yeah, I'm trying to find my soulmate. Looks like your soulmate isn't doing too well. Did you know that Amy's brother died? Yeah, I do. Why? Why aren't you sad? Because I feel like her brother hasn't died yet. What makes you think that? I saw he had three wounds on his arm yesterday and my face still has marks, so I guess he hasn't died yet. But you have to make sure that Amy's brother is your soulmate. Yeah, true. Mom, I'm home. Lewis? How do you know Amy's brother's name? It says Lewis on your forehead. First the marks and now his name? He's definitely my soulmate. But isn't Amy's brother dead? I don't know. Sorry, Mom, but I have to go. I hope Amy's still awake. Hey, Amara, what is Hey, it? sorry to bother you at night, but um, I forgot my book here last night. Okay, come on in. Where's the book? Um, I think I forgot where I put it. Can I go inside to look for it myself? Okay, but don't be long. Lewis, Lewis, where is he? Did something just break? Amara, what are you doing here? 
I was looking for my book. I just remembered. We don't need books for this project. So why are you really here? Oh, yeah, right. My book is at home. Why are you covering your forehead anyway? Because it's, um, cold. Take it off now. Fairy or ghost? Fairy, of course. I need to be protected at all times. What? Why isn't it working? I guess I have no other choice. The fairy that takes care of me is purple. Mine's yellow. What's yours, Amara? I'm not protected by fairies. I'm protected by ghosts. Huh? Ghosts? How can ghosts protect humans, you idiot? <laughs> I'll show you how. Ouch! It hurts! Why is it like someone's punching me? Don't worry, Amara. Even though you can't see me, I'll always protect you. Thank you. How come I lost all my money? Someone must have stolen it. It was Amara. I saw her put the money in her purse. What? No, I didn't steal your money. She's lying. Don't worry. Lily was the one who stole the money and she put it in your purse to make it look like it was you. But I put it back in her bag. Let's check Amara's bag. Go ahead, check. There's nothing in there. She's clearly lying. I saw her take it. There's nothing here. Lily, let me check yours. Okay, check it. Hmm, if you didn't steal the money, what's this? What? She put it in there. Next time, if you want to lie, do it properly. I really want to have a baby sister. Honey, you chose the money like we agreed, I right? chose to have a little sister. What? What's your problem? Why would you even do that? Taking care of you is hard enough. Hey, take care of your sister while I go to the market. Okay, mom. Just wait for me here real quick, okay? I'm just going to the bathroom. Okay. Where is she? I told you to take care of your sister while I went to the market. You left her all alone. If you can't take care of her, why did you choose to have a sister? I just went to the bathroom. Because of that, she got hit by a car. You're so irresponsible. Why would you leave your sister all alone? You shouldn't have done that. I only left her for a minute. I needed to use the bathroom. I didn't know this was going to happen. Don't excuse yourself. You went the wrong. I'm sorry. My parents were right. I'm not a good sister. Because you were careless and almost killed your sister. You're not eating today. It was you who chose to have a sister. And when it comes to taking care of her, you don't want to. Since my parents never wanted to have her, it's better she never existed. <sighs> Why are you covering your forehead anyway? Because it's, uh, cold. Take it off now. Okay. Lewis, why do you have Lewis written on your face? Because my soulmate's name's Lewis. Your soulmate's not my brother, right? Isn't your brother dead? How could it be your brother? The marks disappears when someone dies, unless he's not dead yet. It's late, Amara. You should probably go home. I'm sure Amy's brother's my soulmate. I just wish he could give me another sign. Your face is filled with marks and you're still asking him to give you a sign? Here, take the stick. What's this stick for? You need to use it to kill whoever's been trying to hurt your soulmate. Once you kill them using the stick, your soulmate's wounds will heal. Mom, I'm home. Gosh, honey, your face. What's wrong with my face again? You have marks on your face. I already know that. But this time, the marks are blue. Huh? Blue? Do you know what the blue marks mean? No, I don't. I have to call the police. They're the only ones who can help him. Hello, officer, can you please help me? There's a guy named Lewis. He's in danger. Can you please help him out? Okay, sure. Give me the address. I'll have a look. Look at her marks. Why are they blue? Oh, it's dangerous if they What blue. if the mark is blue? What happens? It means it's not an ordinary wound. Your soulmate almost died. Almost died? Officer, you came just in time. Is it this house? Yes. Okay, let's knock first. If no one answers, we'll break in. Why isn't she answering? Yes, my aim was perfect. Oh my gosh, what did you just do? You really think a police officer can stop me? You better go home, Amara. Where's Lewis? I'm pretty sure he's still alive, right? If you don't want to end up like this police officer, you better go home. Amara? What? How did you escape? Lewis, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were my soulmate. Hmm, or should I just kill you both? Amy, please, don't hurt Amara. You're so kind, Lewis. Amy, you have to apologize to your brother. I don't like him. Mom loves him more than me. You don't know what this stick is, do you? No, what is that? Since you don't know, I'll show you. Amara, all the wounds on my body are gone. I already know who my soulmate is. My soulmate is Isabella. What? The truth hurts sometimes. Better luck next time. You have to leave now. Otherwise, I'll call my guard. No need. I'm leaving. 
Why does my tongue taste bitter? The prince fainted. Doctors, help me, please. What? He was just fine a minute ago. Hey, you two, you have to face the queen. She's very angry with you. He fainted because of her. If something happens to him, you must be punished. Why me? I didn't do anything. My tongue is sore. It didn't look like you were surprised when the prince passed out. Why? Because that was all part of my plan. That's why I've been tasting something bitter. You poisoned the prince. You're pretty smart. Don't bother telling anyone. They won't believe you. My child fainted because of you. Gods, take her to the... Wait! I can prove I'm not the one who did this. So, who won? It was me, right, sir? Both of your scores are the same, so there is no winner. How can we both have the same scores? Tomorrow I'm making a maths competition. You'll have a rematch. Okay, I'm ready. It might have been a draw today, but tomorrow I'm so gonna beat you. We'll see about that. She's cheating. That's why the result was a draw. Yeah, she might have been good at biology, but there's no way she could beat Gemma at maths. Hey, Amara. Who are you and what are you doing in my room? I want to tell you that the effect of the smart pill is only 24 hours, so tomorrow it won't work. I just wanted to let you know. What do you mean it only lasts 24 hours? Yes, that's how it is, Amara. Rules are rules. Then what should I do to win the competition tomorrow? You need to earn your score, so study for it. But I only have 13 hours before the test starts. 